Hi guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial in C Sharp programming language. Today we will learn about object oriented programming in C Sharp, starting with the concept of a class and an instance. Frankly speaking, a class is short for classification. In other words, the objects that we perceive in real life is what we code as a class in an object oriented programming language. In other words, a class is like a template. For example, if you're running a business and you want to create an object called employee, you will go to look at an employee that you have in your workspace or in your workplace, and you're going to start putting down what makes an employee at your workplace. An employee must have an ID, must have a name, must have an address, must have a phone, and yada, 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 all the properties that you have. You're going to make a list of it. On top of that, what are some of the operations or behaviors that are done on an employee or by an employee? For example, and for an employee, you need to change his or her address or his or her phone number or his or her any other property, department, salary, hourly pay, whatever it is, all of these are considered to be business behaviors. Then you draft a program which you call employee. So you basically name your template the same after a real world object. After you draft a template, an employee template, then you start listing all the properties that make an employee in your business as variables and all the business processes which are needed by that employee are then declared as the, proper, as the behaviors or functions that can only work on that object. So that's what a classification is. Then what is an instance? Instance is another kind of an object. So one kind of an object is classification. An instance is a kind of an object which is an implementation of the template. For example, a typical template says an employee must have an ID, must have a name, must have age, must have date of birth, must have date of hire, all of these are templated properties of an employee. But when you say Sam Green, born June 30th, 1995, hired January 1st, 2018, all of these are special, specific implementation of those properties which you templated in the class. Now we are talking about an instance of the class. Or in other words, a variable whose data type is a class is called an instance. Instances have two different things that we're going to be looking at later on as we start to work with object-oriented programming. And instances have a declaration and an instantiation. So together, instantiation allows an instance to not only be declared, but also to allocate memory and also to get some values in that memory space. So it's a combination of a lot of things that you have to keep in mind whenever you do object-oriented programming. Now what we're going to do is we will learn how to create a class in C Sharp. All you need to do is you right click on your project, you go under add, you go under new item. If you do not already see the class listed as one of the items, if you already see a class listed as one of the items, you can simply click on it or you can click on new item, which will going to bring about a dialog box in which again you will going to find class listed up there. Either way, you need to provide the name of the class and it will have a file extension of CS, which is C Sharp. So the name of the class in my case is employee. As I click add, you will notice that inside my solution explorer, inside my project, I have a new entity called employee.cs. 
If you double click on it, it will going to open employee.cs and here you can see the name of the class and the name of the program, they match exactly. Now, this is where you will going to see in class words like private or words like public. These words are basically called access modifiers. They control how far somebody from outside can peek into a class. Generally speaking, in an object-oriented programming language, uh, we have private, public, and protected. Private, public, and protected. But C Sharp has actually four class access modifiers. We have private, public, protected, and internal. So what is public? Public is that the access to the class is not limited to the class only. It's an open-ended access. Protected is access to the class is limited to the class and any of its children classes or derived classes, which we're going to learn about when we learn about inheritance. Private access is limited to just the class itself. Nobody from outside can get access to this. Nobody, not no other class, even a child cannot access this. So what is internal? Internal is that access is limited to the assembly to which class belongs. Then the question comes in, what exactly is an assembly? An assembly is a group of code modules compiled to create an executable program. So the .exe file you create after compiling a c -sharp program are basically what an assemblies are. So an assembly can access anything within an assembly can access it. So there are four class access modifiers in C-sharp. So anyway, this is how you create a class, but to complete the class structure is what we're gonna be looking at in the next tutorial. So again, an object-oriented programming language, C-sharp, lets you create objects with properties and behaviors. The reason it's called object-oriented programming language because it lets you create objects which comprise of properties and behaviors. Catch you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.